Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. My name is Aquatic Feline, and today we're racing against time. We have a lot to do and only 15 minutes to do it. Hence why I'm off to a rough start, or a fast start I should say. I don't know why I said rough there. We have many things to pick up before the third dungeon. And these things include three heart pieces, a, ma a bottle, a magic bottle, and some upgrades to some of my items, as well as a thing that will allow that will make traveling easier. Could I be any more vague than that? Well, I was trying to be vague, so don't get upset with me. I don't want to spoil too much. First thing I need to do is pick up those bombs, because we need rubies for one of these things, so let's go. Move away, crab. I set a timer on for 15 minutes. So if I fail to complete this in 15 minutes, I will have to restart it. And that would that would suck. It would, it really would. I should run one shots these guys. And I only have four arrows, so. Yeah. I need to use the ice rod there. Talk to this guy, he's an ex-thief, wants to atone for his sins, blah blah blah, he gives you 300 rubies, which we need. Also, you can stock up the supplies in these chests, which I'll grab now. Even though it takes extra time. But yeah. Okay, now we have the rubies that we need to complete this episode. I should say. Fortunately, I get to do some editing, cutting certain parts out, but even doing that, I still have to restart it this time. This is my second attempt on this recording, because it took me 17 minutes to re when I recorded last time, and I went and tried it again. It took 11 minutes, but I skipped a part, so yeah, we'll see. If you're watching this now, it's obviously I beat the time limit and I'm uploading this. I could just do this in two episodes, but nah. Where's the fun in that? Besides, speedrunning is the easiest way to see me get mad at a game. So, there's some hope for this video after all. Not that I consider myself a professional speedrunner, but whenever I try to speedrun things, I get upset. And it is quite frustrating. Anyway, remember that mushroom we dropped off at the witch? Well, here's a reward, magic powder. Make all the drug references you want now. Seriously, go ahead and post a comment based on your drug references. I'm just kidding. I don't ever want to tell anyone to post a comment based on something, blah blah blah, any of that crap. Because that stuff's lame. No, it's not really lame, but I don't want to be the kind of guy who's like, Hey, post a comment after everything I do. Did you like the way a rock ran into that rock and broke that formation? Post a comment about it and like this video. Yeah. So, ouch. Gotta watch out for these crabs here, because they do two hearts of damage, as I mentioned numerous times in this Let's Play. Or maybe numerous times in this... in episodes that didn't actually make it, because I had to re-record the majority of my episodes, because I wasn't fast enough, and stuff like that. Move, Zora! Once you hit a Zora, they go into the fetal position, and they take a lot of hits to kill, but in the fetal position they can't do anything, so... Yeah. Let's see, it's currently five minutes in. Maybe a bit more. Not entirely sure, but I have a timer on to tell me. If that timer goes off, it means I screwed up. Anyway, you talk to the Zora Queen and she's like, Wow, what do you want, little man? I want the, I want the flippers. Wow, oh, I don't want to give her some 500 rubies. What do you think? Pay 500 rubies. Wow, oh, I want a pair of flippers coming around. I'll let you use magic waves at sea with the whirlpools and you can jump into them. You can teleport around the world. Thanks for, thanks for, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. That was not the only thing we need to do. But you grab the flippers and now you can swim in the water, which makes getting around the world a lot easier. And we can go up here and grab this piece of heart that we bypassed earlier. Bypassed. Bypass surgery. Heart bypass surgery. You know you don't need a heart. You can live on robot veins. Which pump their own blood. And then you're never at risk of a heart attack. Ouch. Those fireballs are annoying. My shield can't block them. Hmm. I wonder if that was foreshadowing or not. Well, it was, because right in here is the Waterfall of Witching. Well, waterfall of Wishing. I always say Witching, I don't know why. I guess because my speech impediment. impediment. Won't you throw something in? Yes, you throw an item. You have two things you want to throw in. First, your boomerang. And out pops the fairy, and she takes her sweet time appearing, too. Hello, did you drop this? Yes, I like an honest person. 
I'll give you this something better in return. Hey, <laughs> I'm a fairy. Thanks, fairy. Come on. Now you dance in front of the fountain until it gives you the option to throw it in. It takes forever and then the... Why don't you throw something in? Throw an item. No, I just threw... No, god, jeez. God, cheese. God, cheese. Yes, god, cheese. God, cheese. The only cheese of the heavenly aroma. Yes, I did drop my bow. I don't... I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, okay? I hope I didn't pierce a hole in your dress or something. <laughs> Won't you throw something in? Okay, take your time here. Don't throw the fairy in a bottle, and she might take offense to that. Kind of like if you threw, if there's a magical ship, and you threw a ship in the bottle in there, they might not like that. Now I'm reminded of the latest Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Now let's go. I don't remember what time I started at, so I don't know how long I've been going for or not. But I want to look down and check. Oh God! Now that I have the shield, I can block fireballs. Get in the whirlpool, Link. Link, no. Thank you. For everything I've done for you, Link, you think you would show me some more respect, but no. Okay. This here is a cave of taking up time. This here is where I'll be doing some editing. Basically, run up, pot of happiness, throw some rubies in. You have to throw 100 rubies in, you can get a bomb and arrow upgrade. You can only throw 20 at a time. So, I'll see you when I throw 20 in. Bye. Hi, everyone. That's 100 rubies, or it should be, unless I did my math wrong. That's 80 rubies, never mind. Hi everyone, that's 100 rubies, unless I did my math wrong again, but no. I want to carry more arrows. Yay, now I can carry 35 arrows, and she completely restores arrows. I'm going to do the same for bombs now, because you get the option to choose. Fortunately, now that you've done it once, you can throw 15 at a time. So, we're just going to have to keep this in, because it's too short to cut out. Every time you throw some rubies in, it'll say a random thing like, you'll have good luck, or you'll have terrible luck, or crap like that doesn't make a difference. I'm just doing this for the upgrades. And the fat fairy. Actually, she isn't the fat fairy. The fat fairy's later in the game. I want to carry more bombs. Thank you! It's small happiness I can give you. You can give me big happiness, too. But Okay. Anyway, now that I edited it out, I get a little leeway if the timer goes off. But you might be able to hear in the background. I'm not entirely sure. I want to swim up here once you get your upgrades so we can get the bottle. And then it's one final push for Death Mountain. Death Mountain. It's like some new Disney World ride. Because they have Space Mountain, Splash Mountain. They set up Death Mountain. Death Mountain. Where there's a 50% chance you'll actually die on the ride. That'd be cool. Especially with how dark Disney's gotten lately. Hey Aqua, here's a bottle! I'm some random sleepy guy on a bridge. Take it! I don't know how you're supposed to find me without looking it up. Or I guess you just swim around for a while and you'll find me. Okay, thanks, random guy. How did everyone know my name? I guess I'm a popular kid in school or something. I want to know why I'm wearing all this green stuff. But enough about that. Yeah, why are you wearing green? I think Blink thinks it's eternally St. Patrick's Day and he has a fear of getting pinched, so he just stays in green. Just in case it actually is St. Patrick's Day, because he can't remember the day of it. That's why he wears green everywhere. Okay, now we're on the final rush to Death Mountain. There's still two more pieces of heart to pick up, as well as another item, which we get automatically, so it's not that big of a deal. Go, 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 go! Cutting those corners pretty god! Close. Cutting those corners pretty god. I'm sorry, god. I don't know if you're pretty or not. Now... Right here next to the sanctuary is the way to Death Mountain. You want to go up here. Leave me alone, guards! And there's all these lexical bad words, I'm not going to say, walking around here. So you got to be careful. I call them the floppy dongs. That should give you a hint of what they look like. I actually just start made that name up now, but... Come in this cave and meet this random old man. I don't know what you were up to, but you would take me along with you. I'll just slow your progress down. You cannot dash when you have the old man. You actually go faster than normal walking, normal walking than dashing. Blah blah blah. He says holes in the ground. Watch out for them. There are also people who came up this mountain looking for the golden power and none have returned. I don't know what the golden power he's talking about. Turn right here. I have a granddaughter your age. She's one of the seven, seven people. 
descendants of the wise men. Are you, that makes make you a wise man or something. I have no idea. Either way, she's one of the seven maidens we need to save someday. Drop him off at his house. You can go talk to him and heal you, but I don't have time for that. So, magic mirror. And we're off. I'm gonna die, but I have fairies in a bottle, so I don't care. Even though dying using a fairy in a bottle takes up time. Which time I don't have. Did you know I'm speedrunning this, by the way? Nice job, Link. Getting hit by a rock like that. Those rocks are, like, impossible to dodge. It's kind of annoying. And I just turned to my wife's computer. She's playing Farmville, and there's turtle races going on. I don't know when Farmville turned into turtle racing. It's kind of disturbing, really. What is ne what's going to happen next in that game? I'm still hoping for crab battles, really. Now, we're... You might have noticed I jumped off the cliff. You might have noticed that's a bad thing to do, since I needed to go up the cliff. But we need a piece of heart that's... Right there. There's also a tablet where Salad Ham talks to you and tells you to get on top of Spectacle Rock. What is Spectacle Rock? Well, it's the rock formation to the north. And you have to figure out how to get on top of it. Spectacle Rock is also an island in Wind Waker. Catch a fairy, catch a fairy. You got a fairy. Keep in a bottle. Yes, thank you. Now let's go. <laughs> oh god. I'm really cutting it close on time now. I know it. For all I know, there's like seven minutes left or something. I might actually give a name for this episode, I'll call it Freaky Speedy Runny. Then I'll have to go back and name all the other episodes, and that's one thing I didn't want to do with this LP, because I can never think of cool names. And Freaky Speedy Runny, for example, is not a good name. I'm going to name my child that. I'd like you to meet Freaky Speedy Runny Feline. Anyway, going into this portal leads to the Dark World. Dark World is a world that, exi that coexists with the Light World in this game. And, as you can see, Dark World, sa same map as the Light World, except everything's different. Same, except everything's different. Use the mirror and you can leave the Dark World at any place. And that's how you get on top of Spectacle Rock and got the piece of heart. Okay, thanks for watching everyone, my name's Aquatic Feline. And those two people I passed in the Dark World, I feel sorry for them because they entered the transporter and they don't have a mirror, so they're trapped forever in that form. The reason they changed forms is because they don't have the Pearl of the Moon, which you get in this tower, which allows you to keep your original form in the Dark World. That's why I was a bunny. It reflects what's inside your heart. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is Aquatic Feline, and goodbye. <coughs>